Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another pet video and today I'm going to show you how to get the pet called Glimmer. Now if you hover over Glimmer, it says it's you acquire it from a quest called the Guardian of the Smallest, which is in the zone Grizzly Hills. Now I was going through my collection and noticed I was missing this pet. So I figured I'd make a quick video to show you how to acquire it in case you need it and maybe this video can help. This pet was added in Shadowlands and some of these mobs are scaled to level 70. Why that is, I have no idea, but they are. A lot of this quest chain is underwater, so if you don't have a class that can breathe in the seas, best pick up some underwater <laughs> breathing potions. Now the first quest you complete in this chain will give you three, but if you need more and think you might need more, uh, probably pick some more up. Also, if you have an underwater mount like Reigns of Poseidus or anything similar, it will help. Some of these quest items you have to get are in fatigue zones, so you have to be pretty quick to get them without dying. So with all that said and done, let's get this pet so I can, so we can add it to our collection here. Now, where you want to come is you want to come in to the Grizzly Hills, which is located in Northrend. And you want to come down here to Venture Bay. Now, a lot of this quest chain is in Venture Bay. And you'll notice there is like an ice sheet right here. And on top of it, you'll notice a Glimmerfin Scout. Now, I'll put all, in the description below, I'll put all the steps for to acquire this pet and also all the waypoints. So, once you get to this ice shelf and you see the Glimmerfin Scout, all you want to do is just run up to it and it will run away here. Now, when it runs away, it will drop a quest. And this quest right here will ask you, to go see King Murgle Murgle in the Boring Tundra. So we'll go to the Boring tundra, tundra and when we get there, we'll be right back. So we made it to the Boring Tundra to see King Murgle Murgle and he is located right up here in the Winterfin, Winterfin Retreat. Now he will be located via your quest on the map. Now when you talk to him, you will, um, Complete this and he'll give you the water breathing elixirs, which will come in handy if you can't breathe underwater. Now, he'll ask you now to collect 10 meaty crab chunks and deliver them to Glimmer Gut in Venture Bay. And this is located back in the Grizzly Hills, so we got to go back to the Grizzly Hills. So we'll head back there and I'll show you how to get the uh, chunks of crab meat here. So we made it back to the Grizzly Hills and where you want to farm up this meaty crab chunks is right down here in the Grizzly Hills. Now they're all underwater so this is where you're going to need to have uh, underwater breathing. And what you notice there's a bunch of crabs on the ground right here and they are level 70. So just be careful if you're not really geared too well this might be a challenge. So. Uh, we're going to collect 10 uh, crab chunks here, and when we do, uh, we'll be right back. So we managed to get our 10 chunks of meat there, and we're going to turn them in. And where you want to turn them in is right down here. Like, all these will be labeled on your map via the quest, but there is a boat here. It's like a sunken boat, and at the bottom, there's an entrance. So you just want to swim through the entrance here and go up right this area right here and you'll notice the quest giver is standing back here called glimmer gut now we'll talk to glimmer gut give him the crab chunks and now he'll ask you to kill horkin to get blubber fat now horkin is sitting on an ice sheet above water um so it's one mob so we'll kill him and he's in venture bay so we're gonna accept this and we'll get to horkin and we'll be right back so we made it to Horker, not Horkin. I apologize for that. Now he is located, or it is located right here in Venture Bay. And it's a big walrus looking thing. So we're going to kill this to get our blubber, our blubber fat. Now this is a level 70 with 338k health. So uh, just be on the heads up for that. So we kill him, we'll loot him. And this now we got to go back to Glimmergut and turn this into him back on the boat so when we get down there we'll be right back all right so we made it back to glimmer gut and we'll turn this quest in and he'll give us another quest now this quest is to see the oracle now the oracle is in this ship it's basically in the next room over 
So we'll accept this and all you want to do from Glimmer Gut is just swim out here, uh, go back down there and the Oracle's sitting right down here in the bottom deck. Now we'll talk to her and when we talk to her she'll ask you to collect a pearl. And now this pearl is, is down here and it's in a fatigue zone. But it's, it's not real difficult. You can swim down there, pick it up, and then come back. So when we get to the edge of the fatigue zone, uh, we'll be right back. So we're at the edge of the fatigue zone. As you notice, it's different color here on the map. So what we want to do is we just want to swim down here. As you notice, our fatigue bar is going. And the pearl is located right here on our map. It's right down here. You can't miss it. It's a big, giant pearl. So when we get down here, we'll loot this. And then take it back to the Oracle. So we'll head back to the Oracle and uh, when we do, we'll be right back. So we made it back to the Oracle. We'll turn in the giant pearl to her. And when we do, she'll give us another quest. And this is a pet battle quest. So you have to defeat trainer Gurglin in a pet battle. Now he is located right up here and he's on an ice shelf. So. We'll get to him, and when we get there, uh, we'll be right back. So we made a trainer gurgling here on the ice shelf, and we're going to pet battle him. Now, when you pet, start pet battling him, you'll notice that he has three aquatic animals here that are his pets. You got Flipper, sn Snipper, and Whipper. Now, what I'm going to use, I'm just going to use any three flying um, pets because flying is really good against aquatic and I'm just gonna go with three moss. So we're gonna defeat him and when we do, we'll be right back. So we defeated that pet battle trainer and one moth basically soloed the whole team. So just give you a heads up on that. So we'll talk to the Oracle here, turn in this quest here and now we gotta collect three items for her. And when we accept this quest, you'll notice it's a bunch of seaweed and all, this is the hardest part of the quest. All the seaweed is located down here and they're all in a fatigue zone. So when we get closer to that area, uh, overlooking the fatigue zone, you can see some of the items uh, go more into depth on it. And we'll be right back when we get down there. So we made it to the edge of the fatigue zone and the three items you're gonna need are all in the fatigue zone. Now, if you look down here, you'll notice one of the warm seaweed stock items is right down here, as you can see on the map right here. Now, if you want, you could swim down here, pick one item up, come back into the out of the fatigue zone. Now, what you want to make sure you don't do is you'll notice all the electricity around here. If you hit one of these seaweeds that's sticking up, they will damage you and they will hurt. All right, they hit hard. So just be on the lookout for that. Sometimes you have mobs swim, swimming around also, so just be on the lookout for that. So basically just go all to the all three uh, locations on your map, pick up the items, come up if you need to from the fatigue zone, and uh, yeah, that's probably the best advice I can give. So we're going to go collect all three of these items, and when we do, we'll, when we go back to the oracle there, um, we'll be right back. All right, so we got all three of the items we needed, uh, all the seaweed for the oracle. So we'll turn this into her. And now she'll ask us to kill the great Muakin. Now when we do, we will get our pet. Now this great Muakin, um, it is a level 70. I think it has close to 400k health. So just be on the lookout for that. So he is located uh, right around up here. So we'll set this quest. I can show you on the map here, right around here. So when we get to him, uh, I can show you what he looks like and we'll kill him. So we made it to the great Muakin and he is a big lobster sitting in front of a shipwreck right down here in this location. Now, if you hover over him, you'll notice he is an elite and he has quite a bit of health here. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, if you're not real geared. So we'll kill him. When we kill him, we'll go back to the Oracle and get our pet. So we made it back to the Oracle. We'll tell her we killed the big baddie and I'm sure she'll be happy about that and she'll give us the Glimmer's Cracked Egg. So we'll complete that. Now we got our pet here. So we'll learn this 
And now we got our pet Glimmer, which is added into our collection. Glimmer is not uh, cageable, so you can't sell them on the auction house. But, you know, it's good if you're a collector like me. You can add them to your collection and, and get those up. So, that's how you get the Glimmer pet. I hope this um, video helped. And good luck with your pet collecting.